The jurors were shuttled to the scene in two U.S. Marshals vans to a now vacant public housing high rise on South Lexington Avenue in White Plains, where Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. was killed by police five years ago. His family now suing for damages. He was killed in his own home, it was brutal. Because if you can't be safe here, where can you be safe? This is how his apartment looked the night of the killing after police took the door off its hinges and forced their way in because the 68-year-old former Marine's medic alert system had been activated. You can hear the cops pounding on the door over the life alert system that had been activated by mistake. Part of the chaos caught on this police video. Chamberlain, with a history of mental problems, grabbed a kitchen knife and remained in his apartment as cops tried to force the door. And Chamberlain demanded they leave him alone. He promised to kill anyone coming in. In closing arguments, an attorney for Officer Anthony Corelli said simply his client had to shoot. All of the evidence points to the fact that the moment Anthony Corelli fired his weapon, he said, Kenneth Chamberlain posed a threat. But attorney Randolph McLaughlin says photos of Chamberlain's body bearing the marks of four shotgun blasts with beanbag loads, too graphic to show here, means Chamberlain was down and powerless when he was killed. There's no way a man shot in the back with a beanbag at the velocity of a mic greater than a mic time and punch could be a threat to anyone. That photograph of Kenneth Chamberlain's back wound seems to cast a lot of the police testimony in doubt. Still, experts believe it's a heavy lift for the Chamberlain family here in this civil trial. The jury began deliberating late this afternoon. We're in White Plains at federal court. Lou Young, CBS 2 News.